How awesome would it be if every man I looked at turned into an ammonite fossil? Now that, that is an idea. Imagine that and I could just keep collecting them. Logical. Anyway, let's get on with this video. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's episode of Fossil Friday, it's also Halloween themed, hence why I'm currently sat here like Medusa, because Halloween is today. I think I'm gonna post this like bang on the cusp of Friday and Saturday. So it's still Fossil Friday, but it's also Halloween because who doesn't love Halloween. I know it's going to be a bit different this year because of everything going on, but we can still celebrate it at home and have fun. And I even dressed my ammonite up. So uh, my ammonite is dressed as a dead human, um, <laughs> if that even is a thing. So I just put this skull around it because this is just, uh, it doesn't make sense, but it's just my way of saying happy Halloween. So I hope you guys enjoy. But I would love the, imagine how cool it would be if I could turn all men to stone and maybe shrink them a little bit so I could then collect them all. I just think that would be cool, wouldn't it? Anyway, let's get on with the video. So in today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys how do fossils form. Now, a lot of you probably find fossils, but I don't know how many of you actually know anything about the geological process of fossilization. So I thought I would try and explain it in a fun way to you guys that will hopefully help you understand it. So um, we'll see if I do a good job with that. It's, uh, I've got limited resources here in France, but I'm gonna try and do it in a way that is easy to understand. So let's give it a go. I'm just quickly tidying my room because I've just moved my camera and even more of my room is in shot. So I have to hide the fact that I'm a messy, messy student. See, I am, I'm a, I'm a tidy girl. Okay, so for this explanation, I have three props. So I have a crochet ammonite, an ammonite fossil, and a model of an ammonite. So we're going to try and use these to explain to you guys what happens in the fossilization process. So I'm going to start with an ammonite. It's swimming around in our seas. So fossils tend to form in a wet environment. So either in a swamp or rivers or the ocean, because it needs the kind of conditions where sediment is going to fall and actually bury the fossil in order for it to eventually become a fossil. So you need to have that sediment influx to actually create the fossil. So little ammonite swimming around in our oceans, right? And this ammonite dies. So it floats to the bottom of the seafloor and it just sits there like that. Now, an ammonite, when you find it as a fossil, you may have noticed you only find the shell. Now that is because that is the hard part of the organism. So when it comes to fossils, you tend to find the shells or you find the bones. You don't tend to find, you can though, but I'll get onto that. You don't tend to find the soft parts of the organism, like the skin and the organs and the tentacles, in this case, of the ammonite, because they rot away, they decompose, other organisms will come and eat them. So you're left with just the shell. So I'm gonna swap props now. So this is just the shell lying on the seafloor. All the soft parts of the fossil have disappeared. They've rotted away, so we've just got the shell. And then over time, lots of sediment is falling in the water column. So we're gonna use my notebook as the water, well, not as the water, as the sediment, and it makes a layer and it starts burying our fossil. And more and more stuff, will bury it, more layers of sediment, and then after thousands and thousands of years, the pressure and time will build up so that the sediment is no longer loose, it becomes a rock. So there's lots of processes that go into forming a rock, but heat and pressure are the main ones, and they'll also cause the fossil to become a rock as well. And so we can swap our prop for an actual ammonite fossil. So just like that, we have a fossil. But now, how do we find this fossil? This is buried deep under the ocean. So over millions of years and tectonic activity, these layers might be lifted and they might be pushed up. It's really heavy holding the ammonite as well. Pushed up above sea level, so much so that a little fossil hunter like me or you can come along and erosion will happen. So these layers will start being eroded backwards, eroded backwards until the fossil is poking out. And that is when we can then hunt the fossils. So that's a very quick explanation of the fossilization process. So I hope that made somewhat sense. Um, I'll answer any questions down below if it didn't, but then I will talk about the rapid preservation. So as I said, with ammonites or with other creatures, the hard parts is what gets preserved. But then in exceptional cases, we get the soft parts as well. And now for the soft parts to preserve, you need environments where 
organisms can't eat the soft parts and they're not going to rot away or decompose. So in order for an organism's soft parts to rot, you need oxygen. So if there's no oxygen in the environment, they won't rot away. So and uh, if you want no organisms to eat them, you need rapid burial. So in other words, you need a landslide or something that encapsulates these organisms so they're trapped in time and they're instantly buried. Whereas if an ammonite just falls to the base of the seafloor and over time the sediment buries it, it's got the time to rot away, it's got the time to be eaten by other organisms. But if it's preserved instantly, it's going to preserve a lot more than just the hard parts, even if they are just the casts or the remains of the soft parts. So there are exceptional cases and it's very interesting to find those cases and read about them. I think um, if you want to look into it, the word is Lagerstaten and they are the exceptional sites where you've got some really well preserved fossils if you want to read into it. But um, that's just a little fun video for today. I thought it was kind of fitting with Halloween, you know, death, maybe that's not quite Halloween. But anyway, I thought it'd be interesting to teach you guys how fossils form in case you were wondering. But yeah, I'll link my social media down below if you'd like to see even more fossil related content. But um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed and hope I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.